Welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet channel and today I want to thank each and every one of you my friends so much for supporting Electrical Engineering Planet channel community. We have hit our first milestone which is 1000 subscribers on YouTube. Also our page on Facebook has more than 2500 likes. Your support is the biggest motivation to keep going and producing more content. Today I'm gonna show you how to read every single detail on miniature circuit breaker. If you are new to Electrical Engineering Planet channel, consider subscribing to support our community. A miniature circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch used to protect low voltage electrical circuits from any damage caused by overload or short circuit. In this example, we have a three pole circuit breaker. As you know, any circuit breaker could be single, double, three or four poles. First info in the nameplate is the manufacturing company name and logo. Schneider Electric, ABB or whatever. Here we have the product name which we can use along with the catalog number to find out exactly this breaker. Another factor here is C20. C is the tripping curve and 20 is the rated current or nominal current. We have five tripping curves, B, C, D, K, and Z. These curves are describing the trip current rating of miniature circuit breaker. As you know, the trip current is the value of current at which the breaker will trip instantaneously. So we choose these curves depending on our load type because some of the loads have high inrush current at starting which can cause false tripping for the miniature circuit breaker. Class B has a tripping curve 3 to 5 times the rated current and it's suitable for cable protection. Class C has a tripping curve current 5 to 10 times the rated current and it's suitable for domestic and residential applications. Class D, tripping current is above 10 to 20 times the rated current, and it's suitable for inductive and motor loads with high starting currents. Class K, tripping current here is above 8 to 12 times the rated current. Class Z, here the tripping current is above 2 to 3 times only the rated current, so it's suitable for highly sensitive devices such as semiconductors devices. Let's return back to our miniature circuit breaker. This value is the rated operational voltage and it's AC. 6000 is the ultimate braking capacity or the maximum short circuit current that the breaker can interrupt safely without damaging. This number indicates the energy class. It could be 1, 2 or 3. Energy class or energy limiting class is used to limit the faulty current by providing line resistance and impedance. Energy class 3 is better than 2 and 2 is better than 1 in limiting short circuit currents. This is the status indicator on or off. This is the miniature circuit breaker operational symbol. In some circuit breakers, you will find the load side and the supply side, or otherwise, it will be interchangeably. You can connect the supply or the line interchangeably. Here is another example. This miniature circuit breaker has the nameplate at the left side of its body. Here, according to this IEC standard, which is all risk insurance for circuit breakers standard. We have different operational voltage ratings and different braking operational capacity currents. Also, we have rated operational frequency and reference temperature. This factor is the rated insulation voltage, and this factor is the rated impulse withstand voltage, which is the value of voltage the breaker can withstand without failure under test conditions. Rated insulation voltage is voltage used to define the insulation characteristics of a circuit breaker. 
This category is the selectivity category. It could be A or B. We can use it in the coordination purposes. This factor is the pollution degrees, which determines in what kind of environment circuit breakers can be installed. At last, we have a ratio between the ultimate braking capacity current and service braking capacity current. For example, in 40 kA ultimate braking capacity, we will have a 20 kA of service braking capacity because it's 50%. But what is service braking capacity? Service braking capacity is the maximum short circuit current if a circuit breaker can break three times and still in normal condition. In the next video, we will continue answering the most asked technical interview questions. Please feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.